Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace the locking clip on your GE washer model if you notice the top panel of the washer isn't in the correct position. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver, two putty knives, and a flathead screwdriver. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. We're going to take out these three screws. Once all the screws have been removed, we're just going to gently push up on the display assembly and slide it out. And next we're going to disconnect all the wires that are connecting the control panel to the washer machine. Using two putty knives, which is, I feel a lot easier, I'm just going to find the clips that are holding the top of the washer to the front of the panel. Just pull the door out and lift it off with these clips on the bottom. And remove the front cabinet panel. Next we're going to remove these screws located right here. And this will allow us to remove the door and the top panel of the washer. Next we're going to lift up on the washer door. We're going to be removing this door switch from this inside of the top panel. Just going to lift up on the top panel and using our flathead screwdriver, just going to push the clip, the door switch in. We're going to push the door switch out. Once you've pushed the clip on the switch out and the switch has become loose, we're just going to pull up on it, turn it on its side, and slip it through the hole in the door. Next, we're going to shut the door and we're going to lift up on this top panel and remove it. Once you remove the top panel of the washer, the locking clips are going to be located right here. And all we're going to do is using our quarter inch nut driver, we're going to remove the screw that holds the clip into the washing machine. And once the screw is out, just lift up and remove the clip. Next, grab your new OEM replacement locking clip. If you don't have one of these clips already, you can find one on one of our online stores. And all we're going to do is just position the clip so it fits accordingly with the screw hole. And using a quarter inch nut driver, we're just going to tighten the clip until it's set into position. So once the clip is secure, what we're going to do next is replace the top panel. And we're just going to place this into position. But before we put the door back on completely, we're going to slide the door switch through the hole and make sure that's secure. And once the door switch has been securely put back into the washer, we're just going to line up the top of the washer. Next, we're going to screw the top of the washer back into the side panels. Next, we're going to take our front panel and slide it back into place. So next, we're going to reattach all the wires going into the electronic control board. Next, we're going to slide the main display assembly back into place. So lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the screws that we took out previously, this way that the display assembly is secure to the washer. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share, and if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.